Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. Wow, so many things are going on right now. It's hard to know where to um, where to start. We know our bridegroom is coming very, very soon. Jesus is coming very, very soon. Well, many of you probably have already heard that the largest earthquake in 45 years, a 4.4, hit in eastern Tennessee. It was felt as far as Atlanta birth pains. I also want to mention a dream I keep having and, and that has been with me. So I, I, I again, I, my dream is not in the Bible. However, my dream goes along with the fact of birth pains. And that dream, I, I've, I've shared before, I saw things happening on the East Coast, but my, I keep having this dream about destruction. I, I believe an earthquake as based on what I'm seeing in the dream in Oregon. I, I keep seeing it in Oregon. So I'm just putting that out there. I keep having that dream. I'm not a dream interpreter. I have had dreams when my wife and I lived in Newport Beach, California, 24 hours before the Northridge earthquake. I had a dream and everything in that dream came to pass for my house that we were in and also at the office. And I, I had told my wife, I had told <clears throat> the president of the company, my office was next to his. In my dream at that time, I saw the picture over our bed fall down. I saw toys from my son TJ's room falling down. He was younger then, falling down um, on top of him. They were stuffed animals. So when the earth, and I saw the chandelier going back and forth in the dining room and the refrigerator crashing, like even though we had it bolted, it was it had that big of an impact. So I, I am, um, I, when the earthquake happened, I knocked my wife out of bed. I, don't ask me why I didn't take the picture down <laughs> when I had the dream, but I didn't. So I knocked my wife out of bed and ran in and covered my son TJ's body with my body. And as the animals fell, they didn't hurt me, but he slept right through it. Um, and some other things happened. The year later with the Kobe Japan earthquake, I, I woke up, I told my wife, the day before, I said, wow, I see this earthquake. So it doesn't happen all the time, but that has, that has clearly happened. Anyway, we know that birth pains are happening, and these earthquakes and things are happening all the time. Um, let's talk about some other things that are going on. Ezekiel 47.8, you can reference the scripture here fish. So the Dead Sea has been shrinking for years. I've actually had the privilege of floating on the Dead Sea. It was a fantastic experience and putting the mud on me and enjoyed the whole thing, kind of like a spa day, if you will, but um, floating on the Dead Sea. What's fantastic about this is as it shrinks, there's are pockets of water around the Dead Sea and there are fish that are alive, fish that are alive in pure sweet waters. The prophet Ezekiel spoke about this thousands of years ago. So go back to Ezekiel 47 eight, and you'll see the reference of that. By the way, scientists, scientists are now saying, well, they're saying a lot of things that are going back to the Bible. They're saying that all DNA for all human beings can be tracked back to one man and one woman in history. Well, we already knew that, those of us who believe the word of God. Isn't that fantastic? Also, they're saying that the cities around the Dead Sea, which would have been Sodom and Gomorrah, were destroyed 3,700 years ago. Guess what? That's the time of Abraham and Lot when God destroyed. And they're saying what they're describing would be heat that, that would have been as hot as the sun that incinerated, obliterated Solomon and Gomorrah. Well, the biblical account, what they're doing is they're redefining the biblical account. What am I telling you? There are so many things, not only with the dreams and, and the birth pains and, and all the things that are happening, but there are so many things that are coming out that are proving the Word of God. I, I say this all the time. It would take more faith not to believe the Word of God than believe the Word of God. And the fact that what the prophets said 2,500, 2,800 years ago are happening now. There, there have been discoveries of recent, like the, the, the seal of Isaiah, the prophet that says it's the seal of Isaiah. When, when many say, no, he didn't live, he wasn't real, they found that in Israel. They uncovered that archaeologists there. 
I could go on and on and on of things that they're finding. Look at, they just recently uh, dedicated the altar, the stone altar that will be used in the third temple. And I'm sure that many of you, you have heard about the red heifer that they're saying is without spot or blemish. When you study the Torah, they use the red heifer in the sacrifice in the temple. Folks, I've been teaching on these things. I know I'm throwing things at you right now, but there are so many things happening from the birth pains to the culture to the apostasy that we see, the apostate church working in parallel to the true believers, to these things that they're uncovering that prove the Bible true, to scientists even saying things that are proving the biblical accounts are true. It's fantastic. To Ezekiel 47.8, the pure sweet waters that are going to flow. Praise God. And there's life in them now. There's fish in the Dead Sea. Anybody who's been there, you know that's impossible. But all things are possible with God. His word is true. What am I telling you? He is coming very, very soon. The things that we're seeing are, are pointing to post the rapture and, and, and some even post the tribulation period. This is fantastic. That means we are closer than many believe. Again, we don't know the day nor the hour. I am not claiming to be a prophet. I am a man who loves Jesus just like you. I love you guys fiercely and passionately. I will be sharing other things later today. I'm going to be talking about the culture and, and just pointing to some things that we need to know that are clearly showing us we are in the final moments of the end of days. This is real. Brothers and sisters, this is real. And for those who may not believe, and I know some of you follow who don't believe, I encourage you. Listen, there are, there are so many reports of people coming to faith in Jesus Christ that, like in the Muslim world, people who have never studied, or, or know anything about Jesus, yet they're having visitations. They, Jesus himself. And they're getting saved. They're getting saved. And some of those people are now in our country. And I've, I've, I, I don't point them out because, in fact, they have relatives still in Muslim countries. And if I did, they could be a danger. So I'm not going to do that. But I've had the opportunity of hearing some of them give their testimony on stages and actually talking individually with them, and they love the Lord. They know Jesus is Lord and Savior. This is glorious. It's glorious, and he's coming soon. We're always looking for this great awakening, but I'm telling you, there's an awakening happening. The, the underground church in China is growing at an explosive rate. Meanwhile, in our country, in the U.S., there are more witches now than there are Presbyterians. Seriously, when you look at the studies. While people are leaving the church, Many are, are going toward 